What is up, Hexicans and Pulsinators? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. All right, a lot of stuff to catch up on. Make sure you guys smash the like button on the way in. Not only helps get this to other people in the community, but it also helps support my video. So thank you in advance. So there was a project um, that did a sacrifice phase, not Richard Hart affiliated. I don't know the name of the project. I don't want to bring attention to it. But essentially the God Whale and some other smaller players sacrificed to this project. Turned out to be a rug pull. Wow, never saw that one coming. Stick to the Richard Hart projects. It should be a um, example of that. Even though the God Whale is worth hundreds of millions, if not billions, even he was able to be duped by these phony sacrifice phases. I don't think you go wrong. Just by sticking with someone like Richard Hart that has a track record and has a little bit of a history of success. He says, if you aren't imploring people to unite behind Hex on Pulse Chain, after the Godwell sent grifters 880 million hex on Ethereum, you're, at least in the short term, leading people to slaughter. There's been a big battle. Let's call it a civil war of sorts in the community. E-hex versus P-hex. I'm someone that's been around in the hex community for since, um, I mean, I'm not a day one hexican, but I got in in that first year. So I've been in hex for about, you know, two or three years now. And I'm someone that... I see no positives, no pros to onboarding to the Ethereum blockchain. If I have a new user, they have a hundred bucks, they maybe want to get some hex, as hard as it is to onboard in this ecosystem. Why would I send them to Ethereum when they could do everything and save their money on Pulse Chain? And a lot of people, I think, they have the maximalism in their eyes, they're not really seeing clearly. But personally, I have no problem taking PHEX over EHEX. You got your free copy. So even though the price is down, you have a copy of it on that new chain and you're saving fees. So I'm in the camp where P-Hex just decimates E-Hex. A good clip here from the head of growth from Liquid Loans. I'm not a big supporter of Liquid Loans, but this is a good clip. The chain went live and we were out here in the streets. We're at Bitcoin Miami, we're at ETH Denver, we're at Consensus, we got Ivan, even Andrew. Everyone's sitting here talking about it. Like, you think there's an echo in the room, you hear so much discussion about it. Coin Market Cap, Paprika, every influencer you can find. My neighbor asked me about Pulse Chain. I cannot believe how many people have all of a sudden opened up as soon as this thing went live. This thing is listed everywhere. I so my neighbor didn't ask me about Pulse Chain, but this is good, a good anecdote and a good thing to remember. There is a large community at the genesis of Pulse Chain. It's not like Polygon, Harmony One, Avalanche, Optimism. That started with a very small community, if any. Liquid Loans, just one protocol. But they're going out to these conferences. They're going out and networking with these people. And just imagine once these projects actually scale up and get running. A lot of them have Might as well just call this the Your Friend Saw Me Twitter recap. A lot of great tweets from Your Friend Saw Me right here. Here he shows that the Celsius price chart is now in a lower dip than the EHEX price chart. 98.7%. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you held your bags from 56 cents all the way down to these prices. Yes, it sucks, but if anything, learn a lesson from it. When you have crazy amounts of gains and Sorry, my mic went unplugged. Okay, we're back. Interesting tweet here from T-Bird, okay? Hex was designed to be staked, and Pulse Chain was made for Hex. It's pretty simple. And he links the Hex wrapped Pulse pair on Pulse X. And this is one of the more bullish looking charts right now. This would, one would deduce that Hex on Pulse Chain is showing strength, right? You have higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And it's looked like it's curling up to make a little bit of a breakout. But in this market, no one knows. A good note here about the incentive token. Okay, it was 80 bucks a few weeks ago. Now it's 11 bucks. Xpulse OG says, if you are selling incentive token at these prices, you are mad. It will hit $1,000 each in the bull run. You want to sell a 1K asset for less than 20 bucks? You might feel bad in 12 to 18 months. Now I'm not here to give you the 1,000 per incentive token price target. But what I am here to say is that if you are selling at these prices... I do think 12 to 18 months from now, you'll look back uh, with disgust. There were people that sold their hex at multiples of 10x, 20x, made tens of thousands of dollars, but those same bags were worth millions th at the top. Now, you can't time the top, but you also don't want to exit 100% way too early.
And I want to play this clip from your friend Somni right here. All right, take a listen. This is a genius. See, the pulse chain sacrifice is understood by everyone in the community to pump the hex bag. Let's go back down. Let's show you. Okay, this is the hex chart. You see hex down here? Everybody believed that pulse chain only pumped because of the sacrifice phase, which was done here. Sacrifice days for pulse chain was around here, okay? And then it did an enormous pump, huge. We went up 10x. We did a thousand percent, right? From like five to eight cents up to 50 cents. And then the pulse X sacrifice was done here. That is only half of the genius reason for the sacrifice phase. I'm going to blow your mind with the other half. So it's well understood. Everybody believed. Okay, we throw in the hex. We can't dump. We can go to the moon. They threw in the hex and it did go to the moon. That's only half of what everyone understands. What is the real genius move of this? The real genius move, my friends, has to do with human psychology. Ricardo Corazon knows this, but he won't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you. You know those people who sacrificed on this ladder? 19 million, 8 million, 5 million, 3 million, all these big sharks who can destroy the liquidity if they get too much on side. The genius move of the sacrifice is that when they go to PulseX, they believe they are actually minus 20% offside from the day one sacrifice price. We have done a psychological reset they have $1 million, but really, they should consider themselves up like 50x because they started with like 20,000 in hex, 10,000, some even lower. Some made the 100x, man, 8k to 800k. The sacrifice phase was a genius move. You got everyone to reset the price chart for themselves. So a pretty good analysis there from your friend Somni. And here I want to leave you with this clip from T-Bird quoting your friend Somni's YouTube video. Take a listen. It only captures the money supply growth. 500, it only captures the money supply growth. So when you invest in the stock market, you're not getting that much more than however much money they print. So you might say to me, well, where's the scam? Where's the scam? I will say, thank you for perking up your ears earlier. This is what the scam is. The money printer is always on despite what the politicians say. That's what it's telling you. Over time, the money printer is always working in the background. And the S&P 500 is never disconnecting too far from the money printer. I don't make the rules, man. This is what happens. This is the truth. This is the chart. This is what it says. And you also know this part. Without money printing, the fiat Ponzi system collapses. And here I am to tell you the 60-40 portfolio is garbage. 60-40 portfolio is traditionally the least volatility, best return portfolio, which is 60% stocks. 40% bonds. Now we know it's a poopy. You better believe it's a poopy. So I'm telling you right now, I mean, do you want to zoom in? I know some of you, you really like this zoom in effect. We're going to go in, look at this. Secret hint for people who want to squint their eyes. Seek assets that are hypersensitive to the money supply printing. You must beat the money supply growth to gain purchasing power. So if you had... $1,000 and it grew to $10,000, you're like, wow, well, I have $10,000. But in your little economy, if they also increased the cash money by a value of 10, then you didn't actually gain anything. So yeah, you have $10,000 worth now, but the base price of everything went up by 10, 10x. 